Hey there, sisters. I finished it. It's it's pretty the fizz is pretty much gone already, but like it used to be quite white. I could actually do it again. It's pretty easy. And so basically, uh, I just here I'm just gonna do it again. You know, I'll show you how I did it. Water bottle on the ground. Air gun in my hand. I'm gonna have to find like a way to like set the camera up because uh, this requires two hands. Pliers to hold the tube. Speaking of the tube, ah, there it is. I was like, where, where'd it go? Uh, then uh, yeah, that's all I need. Now I need a. Oh yeah, the phone stand. Sick. All right, let's let's go. I took this thing apart and I put it back together the wrong way. I forgot about that. All right, so. Well, maybe I should aim it a little higher because I am going to be doing a lot of stuff like further up. Alright. Cap comes off. Center it a little bit. Little tube goes into the. Oh, don't go further down in there. There. As far as you need to go down there. As far as you need. There you go. But if I do need to shorten it, that is quite nice. So. That's good. So it's not quite in the water. The reason that I don't want it in the water is because uh, if it goes into the water, then when the pressure comes back out, it shoots water up the tube and it's just bad. So that's the opposite of what I want is bad. So prime the gun, take the safety off. All right, here we go, I guess. much of CO2 already. Alright, now that that's done, um, you can tell the water, it's a little bit better this time. It's a little bit better now. So that's good, I guess. I don't know. It's, a, did I say better? It's whiter. It's more white. That's literally all that happened, is it's white and it's got bubbles in it. So, now I'm going to shake it, just to get all the CO2 kind of riled up. I can hear it fizzing. That's so sick. Anyways, let's move on to the rest of this, uh, you know, video. Where I actually, uh, you know, try the, uh... That's bad. Perfect. Alright, so now I have my thumb over the hole in the top of the lid, but let's try it. I haven't drank it yet, so that smells like tar. That smells like tar. Can you guys see anything? Is that light too bright? I'll re-record it if it isn't. If it is. Oh my god, that tastes like the floor of a movie theater. Alright, now that we're done making it, it's lost a bit of fizziness. There's a light right here, by the way, so yeah. But, there's a little bit of fizziness left. I haven't smelt it. I can't really smell it from, from the little amount that's escaping. That smells like tar. That smells like tar. That smells like tar. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay, that is horrible. That is terrible. That tastes deplorable. It ta tastes like tar or like rubber, you know, like brand new rubber or like. Oh my god, that's horrible. <laughs> yeah, I feel sick now. Alright, but that's, uh, that's, uh, that, 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 that's this video, so, uh, in conclusion, 
Don't try this at home. This bottle almost exploded. And, um, I'm, all, I'm out of CO2. I wasted those CO2 car car cartridge canisters are worth uh, quite a bit of money. I just wasted the entire one just making some water I'm never going to touch. It's just going to sit in my room. But knowing there's CO2 in it, I'm going to leave it. So, you know, especially CO2 from an air gun because that's kind of interesting. But, mm. I have a feeling there's some other things other than just pure CO2 in there, so I think I, I don't think I was supposed to inhale that, because I don't feel very good anymore. Anyways, uh, see ya.